Welcome back to What's Inside Family. Today we are doing something that I'm really excited about. You guys know this is our dream home that we just moved into. If there's a power outage due to a natural disaster or something, it's important that you have some essential backup power in order to charge and run things. We have made a bunch of videos over the last few years about backup batteries inside of homes, and we've used Anchor for a few of them. Well, today we have the longest lasting essential home backup power. That's right, this is the Anchor Solix F3000. You can take this wherever you want. It does have wheels on it. Look at this. You can lift it up. It's got a handle. You can take it easily and just like carry it around, roll it around different places. Or you could connect some wires to your home, to the main power grid. And then when you have a power outage, this is ready to go. So Anchor sent this to me. They also sent me a few other things. How about some solar panels? That's right, these are solar panels behind me. And these are some temporary solar panels that are not connected that are not on the roof affixed, but you can carry these with you to recharge this at a very high rate. But they also sent a few more things. Not one, not two, but three expansion batteries for our portable battery, which gives us in total 12 kilowatt hours of battery storage. And to give you some perspective on that, my daughter's Tesla Model 3, which is a 2019, it is not the long range car, but it has 50 kilowatt battery inside of it. And if you want for your home or for backup, you can take two sets of this setup right here and have 24 kilowatt hours of battery storage. So the first thing that we need to do is something that I don't do very often. We need to go to a gas station. It has been a really long time since I've used this and gotten gas. I forget the smell of it. it does not go into this. That's not gonna work. Look at how loud that gas truck is over there. See? This is quiet. This is loud. This is loud. That's quiet. Motorcycle. So loud. Electric is the way. Some gas. Hey, why? Why? Electric. <laughs> Kids are very yelling at us. Why are you in your cyber truck at the gas station? Gotta get gas, kids. I don't know how big this tank is. I don't know if the auto shut off's gonna work. All right, I think I'm gonna stop there. We're about, it's about five gallons. 4.8, $16. Woo, we did it. Yes, I did not spill. It is kind of blowing my mind. That $16.40. We spent as much on the gasoline for that little generator that it would cost to fill up the entire Cybertruck two times. 660 miles of driving. Gasoline's expensive, like, I like cost. Solar doesn't make a lot of sense. Electric cars in states like Utah make a ton of sense. I feel really weird being in a Cybertruck at the gas station. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. The only type of emergency that we get here where we live is heat and wind and fires. And so last night, that mountain over there was lit up. It's sad, a lot of cabins and homes burnt down on the other side of that mountain from the fires. And then the wind, you can hear it right now, it's blowing at 30 miles an hour. And when that happens, the fire can burn the telephone lines and then we lose power to our house. Right now, we don't have battery backup storage installed. So we're gonna show you what we can do with this Anchor Solix F3000. How strong and how powerful can this thing get? Pass-through power is a big deal. Say you get a weather alert on your phone that says there's a tornado, there's a hurricane coming. You know that the power might go out in the area that you live in. It can take up to 3,600 watts from this gas generator and push it into there while at the same time, it is already running a bunch of appliances. That is double the rate of what the next best competitor can do for pass-through power. This is the AC outlet and I have three extension cords. This is a cold plunge. Right now the water is 48 degrees. It's basically a refrigerator. This uses a lot of energy, about 1100 watts of energy. And right now it is being fully charged. There's the battery outside. We have three extension cables coming into our house. But we do plan on connecting battery storage to our home so that you don't have to run these cables everywhere. This is just to show you the power of this battery right now in a temporary situation. Let me show you all the things that I have connected here. Both Leslie's laptop and my laptop. This is a robotic pool cleaner. We are charging that right now. We have an electric bike that we haven't put together yet, but right now we are charging that up. And then you follow the cables, you come down here 
into this closet right here. This cable right here is running all of the speakers, the internet, and all of the security cameras inside of our house right now. We are also going down the hallway and into the garage. We have robotic vacuums, but even cooler, this is the water heater for the house. And we are running the water heater and connected via this cable. So we've got the water softener going. And then just for extra power, we've got this. A blow dryer, a Dyson blow dryer. All of this stuff is connected to the battery. So in total, let's go check out how much energy we are using inside of the house right now. That's a lot of stuff to be running off of one battery. With everything running right now, we're at 32.53 watts right now. I'm actually surprised at how many things we can run off of these batteries, but this says that it only is going to run for three hours. So the next question is, what if you need it to run for longer? We can recharge this at the same time as we are discharging things. This is a very unique thing that this does that other battery products don't do. So in order to test this out, I purchased some gasoline. Full disclosure, I've never used a gas generator before. They're very loud. You cannot use this inside of a garage, inside of a home. It needs to be outside because obviously when you're running gas, you're burning gas, it's carbon dioxide, is that what it is? Carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, one of those two, whichever one's the dangerous one. It sucks all of the oxygen out of the air, so it makes it so you can't breathe. You can see right now inside of the app, I'll put it on the screen, we're getting around 1600 to 1800 watts coming from here to there. But what if you wanna take it up a notch? What if you wanna double that and get 3,600 watts? We unplug this cable here, and then we plug in the adapter that's made for the higher wattage. Now that we've got this cable plugged in, we can get up to 3,600 watts. Let's test it out. We're getting 3,300 watts of energy transferred from here to there while we're still powering all the appliances, more than 2,000 watts of appliances. And you don't see this from other competitors. Next level, this is the kind of tech that we expect in 2025 from batteries. The other nice way that you can charge this is through high efficiency solar panels. Say the power out is out at my house because of some emergency and I don't wanna use the gas generator. Anchor has these awesome foldable solar panels. Thanks to the 165 volt high voltage input port, you can connect up to four high powered rigid solar panels. With traditional solar generators, you're typically limited to three panels. Easily on a sunny day, you could recharge this entire battery. One of my friends, I put the one that's the wall mounted one that stays there forever, that has the digital mount on it. He takes the energy from his solar and it comes into the house, charges up the batteries during the daytime, and he basically has no energy bill because of those two things. And if there's power outage, it's really nice to have both of those things. In my brother-in-law Brandon's house, I put some Anchor battery storage inside of their pantry where their food is, and they don't even have solar, but when the power does go out, the batteries kick on and they can run certain places inside of the home, which is a really nice feature to have. I want something for this home that is going to be portable that you can connect to the home and I can run as a battery backup if there's an emergency, if power goes out, but I also want to be able to take it with me to the next home. And that's something that Anchor Solix F3000 does. F3000 is the industry's longest lasting three kilowatt hour power station in standby mode. According to Anchor Solix lab test, the F3000 can stand by for 125 hours. What this means is during extended power outages, during the nighttime when you're not using as many appliances, the low power consumption of the F3000 helps conserve energy so you can make the most out of every bit of charge. So if you were looking for some home backup battery power, I definitely recommend the Anchor Solix F3000. I'm gonna put a link to the description where you can go buy that, or you can buy the solar panels, or you can buy some expandable battery packs, or if you just wanna check it out, go do your home work, go take a look at it. I'm gonna be in the comments for the next few days, so let me know what you guys think about this. Is this something that you would put inside of your home? Thank you for watching. Thanks to Anchor for sponsoring this video. We got power for days. No, I got this generator in here. I'm gonna put gas in that. Dang. <laughs> I would've got, I was, I was gonna be one of the first people to get this out of the Ooh, what happened? You were old enough? We didn't have enough money. Oh. Me, I didn't have enough money, then they lowered the price and I bought it.